My name is Bolanli Adipoju, and I am a hematologist and a medical oncologist at the Goshen Center for Cancer Care. My professional training started with med school in Nigeria, graduated in 2006, and I had my graduate degree in public health in, uh, from the University of Akron in Ohio, and my medical residency was in the Cleveland Clinic Akron General Hospital, Ohio. I had fellowship initially in Howard University and then I transferred to uh, George Washington U University where I finished my fellowship. The scope of my practice comprises hematology patients, so benign hematology patients, I see patients with anemia, you know, cytopenias in general, blood disorders, uh, clotting disorders. And for medical oncology, I see the whole gamut of, uh, you know, malignant uh, solid tumors and blood cancers, hematologic malignancies. My main areas of interest are breast oncology and uh, lower GI, so colon cancer, rectal cancer. Optimally, we'd like to have patients have a tissue diagnosis of cancer uh, before we get to see them. It is pretty nerve-wracking to walk into a cancer center with the fear that you have cancer. It also helps save the patient's time and make the, helps us make the most of that first visit, actually tailoring the discussion towards what the treatment plan would look like rather than diagnostics at that point. For hematology patients, the um, optimal time to send them would be after initial workup has been performed in the at the office and the diagnosis is still elusive or if it seems like they're uh, they have a complicated medical you know hematologic question that would uh, benefit from you know further expertise in our center we have two more boards where the patients are discussed and we have in attendance representatives from each one of the departments that um, is critical to the patient's care so we have the surgical oncologist medical oncologist we have the radiation oncologist the pathologist the radiologist and so it's a broad very very broad view from all the different angles of the patient's disease and we're able to refine what the treatment plan should be as a team and see from everyone else's perspective of what you know, components of the care um, would need to be considered because that will differ from patient to patient. So patients that are sent to us for a second opinion might be able to benefit from many of the latest technologies that we have invested in here at the Cancer Center. We're equipped to provide excellence in radiation oncology, our integrative care team, um, and in clinical trials, which offer patients options that they may not have elsewhere.